Hey guys, Ketan again. Today we're going to be solving another problem from the beginner level of Kochev. And the problem that we're going to, going to be solving today is lap and rooms. And the problem code is L A P I N. Let's get right into the problem. Lap and room is defined as a string which, when split in the middle, gives two halves having the same characters and same frequency of each character. If there are odd number of characters in the string, we ignore the middle middle character and check for lap and room. For example, Gaga is a lap and room since the two halves Ga and Ga have the same characters with same frequency. Also, A B C C A B and Rotor and X Y Z X Y are a few examples of lap and rooms. Note that A B B A A B is not a lap and room. The two halves containing the same characters, but their frequency does not match. The task is simple. Given a string. You need to tell if it is a lap and row. Okay. Uh, the question is straightforward. Uh, let's take the example of this Gaga. Uh, it is a four-letter word, right? So now we can split it into first two letters as one string and second two letters as one, another string. Then we get Ga and Ga, and they both have the characters G and A, and the frequency of those characters is same, which is G is once and A is also. Uh, we can see a also once in each of these strings so that's pretty straightforward now in the case of an odd numbered word odd number character words or oh sorry this one the middle uh, character can be ignored completely from the string so we get uh, we get ro as the first string and or as the second string now as we, as we can clearly see o is uh, visible once in the in both the strings and uh, the same is true for r so that will also be considered as a lap and row. Here we can see A B C all are ones and C A B all are ones, and then we got X Y and Z and X Y. Uh, Z is ignored, so we got X ones and Y ones in both the strings. Now, when we look at A B B and A B, B is twice, but here B is once, and A is once, but here A is twice. So the frequency is not matching, although the characters are similar. So we can't uh, call it a lap and row, right? So that's pretty straightforward. We can just move on to the solution. Oh, sorry, uh, the, um, the test cases, and then we'll move to the solution. We got so the test uh, uh, input is given in this format. The first one is the number of uh, test cases that will be given to us, uh, which will be six uh, in this case, uh, and then we get uh, words which are either lap and rooms or not lap and rooms. So if they are a lap and row. If it is a lap, a lap and row, we output yes, and if it's not, then we just output no, right? Let's jump right into the solution. Okay. Now. First, we'll be taking the number of test cases. So let's take it as T, and then for a range of T. Okay, so for each test case, we are iterating, uh, and then we're collecting the string as equal to input, right? And now, what we shall do is uh, for J1 in range of okay. So let's let's take a dictionary for this because we are basically uh, finding the frequency of each uh, character, right? So we can take a dictionary and put the each uh, put each character that we find as a key in that dictionary, and then we we can place the frequency of that specific character as the value of that key. So that will just be a key 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 value pair, and that will become very easy for us uh, to work with. So let's take a dictionary, and uh, we also need uh, like an indexing. Uh, Okay, the midpoint. First of all, the mid would be the length of 
okay let's take the length of uh, n equal to length of s then mid is n double divided by 2 because we want an integer uh, we want an integer as the mid value so if it's if the length of the string is 5 uh, if the length of the string is 5 we get 2 as the mid value and then if it's 4 we get 2 okay so in the case of x o r o x okay in this case we see that we have to uh, ignore this letter and then we care only about this and this right so here the uh, x values index is 0 and then we got 1 and then this is 2 and then this is 3 and this is 4 right so first of all the mid will be 2 so what we can do here is for j in range of 0 comma mid so we get 0 and 1 but not the mid and then yeah uh, s of j1 let's take it as a character and then if x in the dictionary so if we have already found uh, if we can find x in, uh, in the dictionary already which means we, it has been added into the dictionary then we just do dict of x plus equals to 1 so we are just incrementing it but if we haven't found I haven't found it then what we do is uh, we insert it into the dictionary and uh, put its value as 1 right so it means we just saw it once uh, so we are putting its value as 1 okay now hmm, we can just run this loop again uh, but before that uh, yeah okay I'll just copy and paste the same loop here and then change this to j2 and the change and then change the range from mid to n okay right so now we also need to put one more line here which would be if n percentile to not equals to 0 then we do mid plus equals to 1 okay so what's happening here is if for example let's take uh, okay uh, let's take gaga now that's an even uh, even count letters in the word right we have four letters in the word in that case this will be false so this won't get executed we'll go straight into this and then the mid is 2 right so we just continue with 2 and 3 so ga ga 0 1 2 3 these are the indexes right now for in the first loop we'll run these two letters 0 and 1 because the mid is 2 mid equals to 2 and then the second loop will run uh, bypassing these two lines because uh, mid is okay oh i'm so uh, yeah n is 4 right so percentile 2 is not equal to 0 so sorry uh, percentile 2 is equal to 0 so we can't we don't execute these two uh, this line so we get we get straight into this line this loop and then that would give us uh, mid to n which will be 2 comma 3 right so these two letters will be checked again okay uh, oh yeah uh, I have to do one thing here the first dictionary uh, the first loop will put all these things in the dictionary 1 and then the second loop will put these things in the dictionary 2 okay well we can also do one more thing uh, we can actually 
find the letter in the dictionary in the in the same dictionary if we want to use only one dictionary and if we have already found that letter we can just decrease it and if we haven't found that letter then we can add it to the dictionary okay uh, that will be a bit complicated and i don't think uh, we need it right now that kind of solution so i'm just going with the simpler one uh, so the even case is fairly simple i think you uh, you guys can follow it uh, based on what i said and now in the case of the odd uh, in, the, in the odd case the mid is going to be 2 again but here this line will get executed because 5% uh, the number of letters here is 5 right so 5% l2 is equals to 1 which is not equal to 0 so we increment the mid by 1 which will change the mid from 2 to 3 so now the second loop will run with 3 comma 4 as the two letters that will be uh, put into dictionary 2 right so we created both the dictionaries which are basically just uh, the frequency counters for uh, first string and second string first string being the first half of the given string and second string being the second half of the given string and these frequency counters can now uh, we can use these dictionaries to check if they are equal or not which will give us if it is a lapindrome or not so if dict1 equals to equals to dict2 then yeah it is a lapindrome right so in that case it is a lapindrome and we just print yes else we print no now this should work we also have the custom input here which is just what the input uh, we, we saw here so we get yes no yes yes no no yes no yes yes no no right so that's what we got now let's submit this and see if the code that we have written is uh, correct or wrong All right, so it is a correct answer and we completed the it in like 0 0.03 seconds, which is Which is good. Okay. Thank you guys for watching and if you guys have any uh, you know doubts or uh, Suggestions for the videos, please do put them in the comment section and uh, I'll try to pump more videos out as soon as I can uh, I'm currently uh, I have a lot of moving parts in my life, so I'm trying to figure all this out, figure all of it out. So please be patient with the frequency of the videos. Uh, yeah, thank you guys.